Oh, yes, it's the holiday. <laughs> Mama finna get sloshed. Anyway, y'all, welcome to Wrestling Color Podcast right here on YouTube. It's your girl, Stephanie. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you join me in the comments. And who, you know, I see someone's very passionate about my views on race, ethnicity, nationality, and the such. And that's good. You keep on commenting. I like that. I see you. Great. Um... What are we here for? Word on the street is Vince McMahon was in the back doing some things that then fucked up the money, apparently, or at least that's what we think. So I'm got a, I got an article from comicbook.com, and it says Vince McMahon orders WWE talent to stop engaging with outside third parties. Let's get into it so we can understand what's going on here. And make sure, if you are interested in some other content that I got going on, Shitty Sugar Podcast is a small fee. The link is in the banner. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, too, because I be posting stuff over there and, you know, give you a heads up of when I post if you don't have the notification on, which I don't know why you wouldn't have a notification on, because when I'm going to post something, it means something, right? Mm. That's a good tagline. So, according to this article, WWE talent will apparently have a lot less freedom as it relates to making money and promoting their images outside of WWE. According to an exclusive report from Wrestling Inc., McMahon held a conference call with talent last Sunday and claimed that not only does WWE own the talent's stage name, he also claimed to own their real names. This was part of a call where McMahon was discussing the reinvention of the WWE pro product moving forward. In a letter to talent that was sent on Thursday this week, McMahon alleged that performers using outside agencies to push their careers are potentially doing so at the detriment to WWE and their vision. And I quote, some of you are engaging with outside third parties using your name and likeness in ways that are detrimental to our company, McMahon wrote. It is imperative that these activities be terminated within the next 30 days by October 2nd, as of, I guess, September 2nd. Continued violations will re result in fines, suspension, and even termination at the discretion of WWE. It is known exactly what third part, it's not known exactly what third parties he was referring to, but there's a general benefit, belief, I'm sorry, there's a general belief that Twitch and Cameo would be included. Numerous talents have used these platforms in recent years, and in some cases, it's helped them become popular with fans to a level that WWE television has not. WWE has sometimes resisted talent getting themselves over with the public and venues outside of their control in the past. This seems to be another example as the company likes to be in control of all aspects of their talent's characters. McMahon reportedly went on to explain that the company's entering their next phase of growth. What is that? I got I got a, a weird bug flying. And it's not a fly because it's doing some other shit. And it will be important to comply with this edict. Update, Comic Book has received the following statement from WWE on Saturday, September 5th, which is today regarding the new policy. And it says, much like Disney and Warner Brothers, WWE creates, promotes, and invests in its intellectual property, i.e. the stage names of performers like The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, Roman Reigns, Big E, and Braun Strowman. It is the control and exploitation of these characters that allows WWE to drive revenue, which in turn enables the company to compensate performers at the highest levels in the sport entertainment industry. Notwithstanding the contractual language, it is imperative for the success of our company to protect our greatest assets and establish partnerships with third parties on a company-wide basis rather than an individual level, which as a result will provide more value for all those involved. So what does that mean? Well, I know for a fact Twitch mm, has Zelina Vega, AJ Styles. Randy Orton I know was on Twitch. And a few other people. Cameo, I did a whole I did a whole podcast on Cameo, and some of the top stars charge between $400 and $500 for a Cameo. Big E, as popular as he is on Cameo, Cameo, he only charges $125 for a message. Hey, 
what's up happy birthday keep fighting i said it was a good idea because a lot of um a lot of the superstars can't really connect in live, you know, cons and stuff like that, like comic cons and stuff. So the cameo is cool for kids, especially sick kids or kids who is just having a birthday and they get to hear their favorite superstar say happy birthday and say their names. And I thought it was cool. Um, if you're willing to shell out five hundred dollars for Roman Reigns to say happy birthday from the big dog to your five year old and watch your kid go through the roof, I think it's cool. With that being said, I can, I'm going to go ahead and understand what WWE is saying in terms of their product and in terms of them driving revenue in order to pay their people. But this is the downfall of what is called an independent contract. Now, I've been an independent contractor before at a cleaning company. So the way they handle me, they were not handling these people here because WWE treats their independent quote unquote contractors like employees. They don't let these people do what they want independently, separate from, you know, WWE. So when you're not on TV, you don't make money. We all know that. So that's why if it's like a WrestleMania, I believe you get like a bonus if you're on, um, if you're in a storyline for, you know, uh, pay-per-views. And if you got a lot of TV time, you're getting money and you're perceived as the big person. Everyone at WWE is not making Roman Reigns money. Everyone is not a part of the Anna Roy, Anna Roy, uh, you know, dynasty. Everyone is in Brock Lesnar. Everyone is in uh, Seth Rollins. So Seth Rollins doesn't have to have a cameo and a Twitch. But someone like, I don't know, mm, Cedric Alexander. A Twitch, a Cameo, a YouTube is fun. Now, I don't know if they're going after YouTube because Asta has a popular YouTube. Up Up Down is extremely popular. And I don't think Up Up Down is going anywhere because uh, apparently WWE has some type of partnership with it's Xavier Woods' podcast. And, and you can see where WWE has given him money or given him more of a space to do it. And he gets access that other podcasters and YouTubers aren't getting access, especially in the wrestling realm, right? Um, you got uh, the Crawfords. You got Zelina and Alistair Black on their YouTube. And Zelina's a big Twitcher. Big time Twitch. Um, a lot of these wrestlers are outside doing other things. Now, they're not wrestling other places, but they're doing other things. And I don't think it's fair for WWE to encroach on that. I think every avenue to make money should be cool. And we could look at people like Zack Ryder, who utilized his platform, his internet, to be the person that we knew and put himself over. And this is another thing. WWE does not want to make stars when that is not a star that they made. If you're a star outside of WWE, WWE has a problem with that. You know, it, it's, it's, it's interesting. So I went, I'm specifically going to talk about Twitch. Now, we all know who's on Cameo. Like I said, go back and listen to that podcast. So Twitch, we got Zelina Vega, Drew Gulak, Xavier Woods, Adam Cole, Cesaro, Tyler Breeze, King Barrett, Sean Spears, called The Sweets Lives, Paige, Rusev. Rusev is no longer with the WWE. He is a, a, a full-time Twitcher, though. Uh, Drake Maverick, Dio Madden, um, Ember Moon, Mia Yim, Dakota Kai, Ada English, Jessica Havoc, Leva Bates, um, and then these are other, you know, Mike Rome, Marty the Moth, you know, people Twitch. You know, they and, and I told you AJ Styles, he has a, a popular Twitch because he's always talking about uh, coming and join him. Cole Cabana has a Twitch also. So just from that, and then you got some that, or whatever, you know, could be doing some other stuff that we don't know about that is lucrative for them. They're not doing no, like, you know, in-person in services or nothing like that. But they, they are making themselves 
accessible to their fan base. And I don't see anything wrong with that. And also when you have people like, for instance, uh, Ember Moon, you can't tell Ember Moon that she can't use her Twitch when Ember Moon's not working right now. So I'm following, like example, I'm following Ember Moon because I enjoy Ember Moon. Ember Moon's on Twitch. So whatever the Twitch, however much it costs to Twitch stream to be with these people, you know, I'm willing to pay that and she gets her, her fee or whatever. And it is, it has nothing to do with WWE except the only reason why I know of Ember Moon is because of WWE. But I don't think that's fair for him to stop the bag like that. These people got to eat too. These people got a family. But then again, you also have to understand who you signed up with. This isn't new. Like, you know... That was going to be an issue, and I knew eventually it was going to come down that these people were, like, making money and come see Roman Reigns. And the only reason why I'm going to come see Roman Reigns because that's, like, a cool guy. Outside of WWE, Roman Reigns is not, like, a thing, right? He's not, like, oh, Roman Reigns. It's, it's just, like, he's not... He's a WWE brand, and a lot of times we think WWE is more popular than it is because that's really what we focus on and talk about, but it really isn't. So, you know, Renee Young made a little joke like, well, let me get a Twitch. Since she's not a part of WWE no more, she could go get a Twitch. But I know some people were like, uh-uh, you can't do that. But uh, unfortunately, they can. And he can. So you got you got the 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 top earners here. This is an article that's saying the top earners from I guess Cameo is uh, Joe uh, Roman Reigns. It's, it's three hundred ninety four dollars per minute uh, that he gets out of that five hundred dollars. Alexa Bliss charges three ninety nine. I told y'all that. Um, Big E it made sixty two thousand dollars from Cameo. Mandy Rose made twenty two thousand. Uh, Roman Reigns made eighteen thousand. Sasha Banks made sixteen thousand. Rey Mysterio fifteen. Lacey Evans fourteen. Kevin Owens ten. And to say that they have to drop ten stacks because he owns Kevin Owens' name, it's bizarre. He just said third party. So I don't, third party is anything outside of WWE and there's no middleman. Mm. So if I was someone like motherfucking, I don't know, Mandy Rose or Sonya Deville and I'm not on TV and I'm in the catering, if I'm somebody like Caden Carter down in NXT and I got the cameo and I'm bringing in probably like, you know, eight, nine thousand, um, you're not going to stop me from doing that. Like, Cameo takes 25% from each transaction. And then the rest is yours. So you're not really going to stop me, really, from making my money. Like, really? Third-party Instagram. They use Instagram to do ads. Um, Sasha Banks, she runs ads. Like, what's her name? Um, Lana and her fucking cringeworthy ass dancing. She runs ads. Like, Bang Energy is something Lana is hawking. So you're telling Lana she can't hawk Bang Energy? Are you telling Sasha Banks she can't say, hey, y'all, go over here and get this pillow that I got my dog made. You could get this pillow, too. Uh, is, is, is Vince really going to do something like that? And unfortunately, he can't do that. He can, because y'all signed a contract, and y'all said whatever WWE wants to do with your face and your likeness, they can do it, and you're going to take a percentage, but he's not treating y'all as independent contractors. I've never heard independent contractors go through half the shit that the, that the wrestlers are going through over at the WWE. I think it's absolutely ridiculous, and that's why you got people like, um, what's that big dude name? Oh, my God. The big guy, y'all know I'm talking about the big guy. Who was like, feed me more. I can't remember his name because of this right here. Y'all know who I'm talking about. That's why he be talking about y'all need to union up and y'all need to figure things out and see what y'all could do. But 
if you work for WWE and WWE is like, nah, you can't, you can't be out here hawking, you know, Mountain Dew and we don't get a cut. Now, if they could get a cut, if they, if WWE could get a cut, then you might could do something, you know, like, cause I don't think up, up, down, down is going away cause WWE is getting a cut. Do you really think Xavier Woods has 2 million followers and YouTube pays? Do you really think that the WWE is not getting a little bit of that money Xavier Woods is making? I strongly doubt that. And we have to remember Vince is a real person. He is a real person behind the scenes. And he's going to dip and dab wherever he can dip and dab. So what sucks is Zelina Vega's real name is Thea. So you really going to say Thea can't even fucking have a, a Twitch? She can't just be herself. But see, the thing is, you wouldn't know who Thea was if it wasn't for Zelina Vega. And that's essentially what Vince McMahon is saying. And that is what's it going to be. So... We already heard the initial statement, and basically what they're saying is, this is what we're going to do, and I'm giving y'all 30 days to do what you need to do. And if you don't do what we're asking you to do, it's up and it's up to and including termination. And right now we're in a pandemic, and everyone's not making Roman Reigns money, everyone's not making, you know, Brock Lesnar money. Sometimes I guess you got to be like, all right, well, I see y'all on the flip side. That sucks because it's fun looking at the wrestlers be themselves and relax and chill and joke and talk shit. Sometimes they fuck up and say some dumb shit, AJ Styles and Randy Orton or whatever. But, you know, it's fun for some people who want to just connect. And this is their connection. And now you like taking that from everybody. It's like, Damn. So we'll see what happens by Friday, October 2nd, if all the wrestlers are off of all third-party programs, all third-party uh, platforms, and back to just sitting around fucking waiting. Paige don't do nothing at the WWE because WWE backstage is gone. So what, Paige got her titties out on Twitch, and you telling her she can't show her titties? She can't do it no more. So what Paige finna do? She What, what Paige and Lana be TikToking and selling her, her, her juice? What's she finna be doing? She ain't on TV outside getting beat up, and I don't know what the fuck her and, um, her and fucking, what's her name? Shit. Uh, Natalia got going on. I don't know. We're gonna see, because this don't even need to be that long. We're gonna see. Vince McMahon is, 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 is trying to shut down and take the bags unless they're gonna get the money, and we gonna see what's gonna happen. So y'all tell me what y'all think. Is Vince McMahon right as a businessman? He owns them. He owns their likeness. He owns their body, mind, and soul. And he's going to sell them the way they want. Or should Vince just back off and let these people make money? Because a lot of them aren't on TV right now. And they need to be making some money. Outside of their base pay. Right? Because we get they got into the business for the money at the end of the day. And I feel like I know AEW would take this opportunity to be like, oh, we ain't going to do nothing like that over here at AEW. They need to work on their women's um, division. Shit. And no, I'm not paying for all out. So y'all tell me how that was. I'm going to leave it right here. This is Wrestling Color Podcast. This is your girl, Stephanie. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Keep telling everybody to come over here and listen to me run my mouth and have a sip. For the holidays, mm. I just put the homemade mac and cheese in the oven. All right, y'all, deuces. Be safe. Wear your face mask. Till next time.